Italy, home to some of the most ancient and obscure crafts and artisans. The Italian artistic influence has penetrated the globe and captured the imagination of artists across every continent on earth. It's hard to imagine what the world would look like without its historical artistic influence. I'm James, a filmmaker from the UK, and together with Mazda and Mazda Discovers, I'm heading to Venice and the wider Veneta region to meet with an Italian globe maker who is determined to keep the ancient craft of Venetian globe making from falling into the forgotten ancient abyss. When I walk in, in the Marciana Library, it's very inspiring. That is the place where everything started for me. I remember looking at the globes as a child and I was thinking, how is it possible that someone makes something so unique and beautiful? After years, I got studying his story, I got this book, and all the answers are in that book. I'm Leonardo Frigo, I'm a traditional globe maker and all my art and craft is based on a book. This book was written in Venice in 1693 by Vincenzo Coronelli. He was a globe maker for the Venetian Republic. This book was a collection of all his studies about the stars, the planets. Sometimes I'm saying that it's my Bible. And in the last part, of this book, he wrote how he used to build the globes. Traditional globe making, if we think about the globes made in Venice since the 17th century, is a dead craft. So I hope to resurrect the Venetian craft of globe making. To build a globe, there are a lot of different crafts from the paper to the pigments, printmaking, the copper plates, so there are a lot of crafts involved. When I got the book and I started studying how to build the globes, I realized that I need to find a lot of different materials. Cornelli mentioned that you need a specific resin from a tree in the Veneto region. And it was amazing to find that this tree is from my, is from my village is a large tree. So thanks to locals, we found some trees, drilled the tree and after years is giving this resin. And this resin is very important for the glue and the varnishes that Coronelli was using. So for me, it was amazing to go back to get an ingredient to build my gloves from Asiago. So what inspired me to build the globes is not only the beautiful object, but it's more to learn and to save the craft of globe making with all the research. When I got and I read this book, I feel like that he, I don't know, but he wrote it for the future and helped the new generation to learn how to keep this craft alive. lover it was very important to keep the art safe and to restore them for the future generations it's very important for us to share and keep alive the traditions for example I collaborate with Omo Faber where we will do a lot of workshop in Venice for me it's very important to be here to share my tradition I think that innovation 
is very important in crafts. The tradition in Mazda tube design and these beautiful cars. But when you see the car, you can feel that the shapes were shaped with traditional way with using clay. One of the best parts of my job as being a filmmaker is getting an insight to other cultures and crafts. And spending time with Leo and understanding the rich history of globe making has made me realise just how important and precious our artistic heritage is. Seeing Leo's passion for keeping this traditional craft alive and even running workshops at Home of Arbor to pass down the knowledge that he's learned from the generations before him is testament to the proud and rich heritage of the Italian artistic culture. As creatives and craftsmen, we've got a lot to be thankful for. And this journey has taught me a lesson that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life.